this whole this whole chapter is on functions and relations. It's a super quick chapter. We'll get through it by the end of next week. Okay. So all a relation is is a set of ordered pairs. Pairs and ordered pairs are what? What's another name for an ordered pair? Okay, but if I'm looking at it, what is an ordered pair? Yeah, it's an X and a Y, and it makes a point. Right? An ordered pair is a, is a point on a graph. Right? So all all the relation is is a set of ordered pair or a set of points. Okay. Now our x values of all of our ordered pairs are called the domain. Okay. All the y values are called the range. And we, we end up spending a lot of our time talking about domain and range. Okay, we're actually probably going to spend about the next three days, the rest of the week, talking about domain and range of our functions or end of our relations. Okay, so super important. So, right here, we have a set of ordered pairs, right? Or a set of points, okay? And our domain are what? Our x values or our y values? X. Our x values. Okay, so if the domain is the x values, our domain is negative 3, negative 2, 3, 1, negative 3, and negative 3. Yep. You're going to list all the numbers that are the x values. Okay, our range is our what values? Our y. Okay, so if you remember our points, or our ordered pairs are written as x comma y, right? Okay, so that's where we're getting our x's and our y's from. Our y's are always our second numbers. So my range is zero All right. So our relations can be written in three different ways. We can write them as ordered pairs. Okay, they can be written as a table. So if I write these ordered pairs as a table, we just write what goes with what curls. So don't talk while I'm talking. Okay? I don't know why you can't sit by each other, but it's driving me nuts. And it's super disrespectful. Okay, so I use my first ordered pair. So I go negative three and what? One. Yep. The next line of my table or my next row is negative two and zero. One and two. And negative three and five. Alright? Table? Easy peasy, right? Alright, a mapping. Okay. I'm mapping. We don't repeat any of my numbers. Okay, so if I start with negative 3, I'm going negative 3, negative 2, 1, 3, and do I already have a negative 3 on there? Mm -hmm. Yep, so I don't write that again. Okay, and then over here I'm going to write my y's, but don't repeat any of them. So 1, 0, 2, negative 4, and 5. I don't have any repeating, right? Okay, now I draw arrows of what goes to what. Okay, the negative 3 goes to the what? Goes to the 1. So negative 3 to the 1. What else does negative 3 go to? The 5. So negative 3, also an arrow to the 5. Okay, negative 2 goes to what? Zero. One goes to up two. And negative, oh yeah, three goes to 
Okay. So when I have a set of points that are already graphed, I like to go straight to my table. Okay. So like one of somebody give me one of the points.